here we are in the Boomi platform. This is our homepage. If you look here at the top right, this AI button is what's going to take you to the Boomi AI Studio. So this is the home screen of the Boomi AI Studio. Here you can interact with Boomi GPT and ask questions of the AI agents that are built into our platform, but you can also use this to design your own agent. But before we do that, I'm just going to show you, we also have this chat interface where you can switch between the various agents that may live in your agent garden. This is the agent designer. We're going to come back to this, but you can see here that we also have some templates that you're able to take advantage of. This is the list of the agents that I have already created. So you have some information here about what's the goal, what's the status, when it was installed and updated. So this is where you're looking at all of your agents that live specifically in the Boomi platform. And this is where Boomi really shines is the tools. If you are already a Boomi customer, you probably have lots of integrations that you're already utilizing. And so within this tool screen, you can actually pull those integrations in to be tools for your agent to access. So we also have prompt tools. You can query data hub if you're using our hub solution to create golden records of your master data. You're also able to access that as a tool and then APIs. So clearly there are lots of APIs that you're going to want your agent to have access to. I actually have a few that are pre-built. We're going to utilize this Get Hospital Info API. This is one that I set up in advance, but it's really just used to retrieve information about various hospitals. I got it from API Ninja, so it's some basic information. But just for demo purposes, I wanted you all to be able to see a build with an API tool. If we go back to our agent designer... I would hit, let's build one without a template, and we're actually going to build with AI. So you have the option for AI to build, or you can build it manually, but work smarter, not harder. So if we were to build with AI, we're just going to give this a goal for our agents. Like I said, we're going to use that hospital information API. So I'm going to give it a goal of this agent will give information about local hospitals. If I click start building. Now our agent designer is actually going to generate the various parts of the agent that we talked about earlier in this presentation without my input, just based off of the little bit that I gave it. If we come in, we can see it's built this agent with the goal to provide comprehensive information about local hospitals, their services, locations, and contact details. So it's calling this the hospital helper. It's giving it a personality. So it's scoring on a variety of pillars here. You can actually change the voice and tone for the purpose of what we're doing. We're going to leave it as professional. It's also got some conversation starters. So can you help me find nearby hospitals? What emergency services are available in my area? These are all great. We're going to leave those as it is. We're going to save and continue and move on to tasks. Inside of the agent designer, it also has all of the things that the agent will need to do to complete their goal is broken down into separate tasks. So if we were to click into the locate hospitals task, this is saying it wants the agent to find hospitals near the user's location. And if we go into the instructions, it's saying ask for the user's current location or zip code. Let's say that the parameter for the API that I put in actually does it by city or state. Let's say use ask for the current location as a city or state maybe is how we'll put that so we can edit the instructions and then of course we have to give it a tool so let's give it that get hospital info tool now we've edited our tasks you can see it's also got hospital services contact details guardrails we've also talked about so here it's already built in the guardrail of i cannot provide specific medical advice or diagnoses that is correct we don't want to do that if we were to go into these denied topics we can see that it's saying it's preventing providing direct medical diagnoses or treatment recommendations and so what are those sample phrases it's going to look for to make sure it doesn't do that what are my symptoms can you diagnose this medical condition what treatment should i get Let's actually test that. There is a place to test these agents before you deploy them. So if we open up that test screen, we might say something like, I have a headache. What should I take? And what should happen is because we put this guardrail in place, the agent's going to come back and it's going to say this exact language. I cannot provide specific medical advice or diagnoses. But if we were to ask it, what 
hospitals are near Richmond, Virginia. So we've given it that city and state. And so what it should be doing is thinking through what is the intent of my question? Can it access information or tools to complete what I'm asking it? You can see here, it's searching for hospitals in Richmond, Virginia. It's gonna do that API call to that information on the hospitals that I've already connected it to. And then it's going to bring back a list of the hospitals that are in Richmond, Virginia with whatever information it has access to. So here it's telling you the major hospitals, their address, their phone number, what type of hospital is it, what capacity, how many beds. Sometimes it's also giving links if it has that information. And if we click show trace, it will actually walk us through what are the steps that it took. So when it said it was thinking, this is exactly what it was thinking through. It took an action to call the tool of get hospital info as it was thinking some more. It's just saying, does this tool call require an approval? It does not. And so it was able to then pull back this information from the tool. So you're also able in that preview editor to look through what are the various steps that it's taking to get that answer. If we save and continue from here, there's a review screen that lets you fully go over what is happening with this particular agent in case you want to go back and edit before you deploy. So that was our hospital helper. It's now in active status. If I were to go back to that chat screen, I can actually use this drop down to access that hospital helper agent. And I could say, what hospitals are near? Let's say, Charlotte, North Carolina. And maybe there's different types of questions you would want to ask, but in a different user interface, because we used it in the preview, so you can see it here in the usual agent interface. You could ask it questions here, and it will do the same things that we saw it do in that preview. It's thinking through, it's going to call that step to call the API tool, and then it's going to pull back all the hospitals that it can find in Charlotte, North Carolina from the sources that it has access to. And if we wanted to be able to search by something besides city and state, we would just adjust that in the parameters. But here you can see it's pulling back a number of hospitals located in Charlotte with the contact information if it has it and then the number of beds. So this is just to show you, we've built an AI agent here pretty quickly in less than five minutes without doing any coding, but you're able to tweak if you want to use the AI to build it out, you're able to go back and tweak, or we could have manually set up those tasks and those guardrails and those tools without using the agent designer backend of the agent building on your behalf. So with that, if you want to learn more about our Boomi AI Studio, you can click this QR code and we actually do have a walkthrough demo there. And if you want to click through and see all the capabilities of what we have to offer, as I mentioned today, I only went over the designer, but also you can look through the agent garden and the control tower as well through that guided tour.